Okay, we're buying apple juice, and it's 32 ounces. OZ is the abbreviation for ounce. 32 ounce bottle of apple juice for $2.50. And I'm comparing that to a 48 ounce bottle. And that costs $3.84. Now, the question is, am I figuring out how much it costs per ounce or what? Per ounce. Per ounce. So that kind of already tells me how I'm going to set it up. If I'm figuring out per ounce, do you remember if the per ounce goes on the outside or on the inside? Outside. Yes, right here, per ounce, because I want to figure out how much for every ounce. So let's do 32 and we're doing $2.50 divided by 32 ounces. This is going to give me how much one little ounce is going to cost me for that particular bottle of juice. Okay, first thing, bring my decimal up into my answer so I don't forget. How many times does 32 go into 2? Zero. Good, zero times, put your answer. 32 into 25, zero. also zero. How about 32 into 250? Let's try five. Thirty-two times five. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen plus one is sixteen. Mm, can we try another time? Let's seven. Let's try seven. Okay. Thirty-two times seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Twenty-one plus one, twenty-two. Ah, much better. So seven times, put my answer up there, and that's two hundred twenty-four. Subtract. Borrow from the 5, that becomes a 4. This becomes 10. 10 minus 4? 6. 4 minus 2? Two. 2. Okay. Now, I'm not quite finished because depending on what this next number is, it could change it to 8 cents rather than just a 7 cents. So add a 0. 32 into 260. Let's look at what I have here. And actually, it could be anything higher than 5. It wouldn't really matter because I would already automatically want to round this 7 to an 8. So we said 8 times you said maybe? So this is going to round to about 8 cents for what? Per ounce. Yeah. Per ounce. Eight cents per ounce for this particular bottle of juice. Yes, ma'am. If you were to write the uh, eight and the cent sign, would uh -huh. go before or after the eight? The cent sign would go after. You could write it like this: eight cents per ounce. Yes. Not exactly what to figure out how to round it because uh, you stopped at seven. Okay. Um, I knew to stop because I know it's going to be rounding for money. And money always has two decimal places, which means I have to go to at least the third decimal place. And so the seven is my hundredth, so I'm going to look at the eight. The eight automatically tells me I have to add one more to this seven to give me the point zero eight. Does that make sense? Okay. So remember, if you're dealing with money, you always want to go three decimal places. That way that you can round. Yes, Terrence. Because it's money, right? If I keep going on and on and on, I'm still going to have to round to my hundredths place. And whenever I round to the hundredths, I just need one extra decimal place afterwards. Because even, even if this were a one, I wouldn't even care about that one because I'm looking at the eight. Does that make sense? And maybe you'll see it next time when we do this next one. We have the unit price per ounce for the first bottle, but we still need to do the second bottle. And I'm going to just move it to the side and pick up another piece of paper. It's 48 ounces for $3.84. Which number goes on the inside? $3.84. Because, again, we want to figure out how much it costs for one ounce. So the per ounce thing goes on the outside. Okay. First thing I do needs to be what? Bring the decimal up. Thank you, Emmett. 48 into 3? Zero. zero. 48 into 38? Zero. Also zero. 48 into 384? Let's try it. 48 times 6? 
What's 8 times 6? 6 times 4? Plus 4? 288. Mm, can it go in another time? Yeah. Okay, let's add 48 to this. 8 times, um, sorry, 8 plus 8? 16. Carry the 1. 8 and 9, that's 13, right? And 3. 336? Try 8? Well, let's see. Let's try it. 6 and 8? 4 and 3? Plus 1 is 8. And 3. 382. Good. So this is 6 times, that's 7 times, that's 8 times. It goes in 8 times, which is a value of 382. Subtract. You get 2. Now, I'm not going to stop yet because I need to go at least one more place value so that I know how to round because it might possibly round up. So I have to add a 0, bring it down. 48 into 20, 0 times. So looking at this number, this is my hundreds place because I'm rounding uh, for money, and that's always to the hundreds. This 0 does what to the 8? Keeps it the same. It doesn't matter. So then looking back over here, this answer here is going to be what? Eight cents, Eight cents so per ounce. So if they're both the same price for one ounce, so which would be a better value? Well, you get more, but you're also paying more. But the value is the same. Because for one ounce in this juice bottle, or this, this bottle of juice, is the same as the price for this bottle of juice. So they'd be the same. If you, like if you're looking to serve a bunch of people, then yeah, you'd probably want to buy the bigger bottle. But both of these are the same value. Okay? Yeah, either one. They're the same. They are the same exact deal because the price per ounce is the same. Now, most of the time, you'll have a difference of maybe a penny or two where the least expensive one would be the best value. Yes, sir? Why would you not buy the 48? 